there are a lot of open source internships as well as open source programs through which you can not only get a very good stipend but also get an exposure to work at some of the best companies how to get in that knack of development in your first year second year third year so one such opportunity that i'm going to share it with you along with how to apply for that how can you make your application better is outreach internship so this entire video is going to be about outreach internships how can you apply the applications are currently open and you should apply for it as early as possible so without any further ado let's start with the video if you are new to this channel make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel also the like target of this video is 1500 likes let's say if we get 1500 likes we'll come up with many more such videos so outreach internships basically it's a three months in long internship whom it is for it is for underrepresented groups when i say underrepresented groups it can be females it can be males it can be transgender anyone but the thing is you might have faced uh, you should have faced discrimination in the past be it in tech be it be it on the basis of caste creed anything like if you feel that you have faced discrimination on any basis you are eligible to apply for the particular opportunity it's an open source uh, uh, like many open, open source organizations participate in outreach they have their problem statements you work upon you contribute to their repositories and you can get to those uh, rewards as well as benefits of how to uh, grab multiple different opportunities right the stipend that they offer is 7 thousand usd for three months when i say seven thousand usd it's close to six lakhs in india five lakh seventy five thousand it's six lakhs you'll be getting in three months so per month stipend is going to be one uh two lakhs per month so this is an amazing stipend no company in india offers this much stipend talking about the eligibility criteria first second third year students with no branch restriction you are eligible to apply anyone can apply if you have a programmer you're not a programmer first year second year third year anyone can apply Final year students can apply twice. Like if you're in your final year, you can apply now also. Like outreach is conducted two times in a year. So first, uh, this this is uh, May cohort. Like you you'll start your internship by May. So this is May cohort. There's one more cohort that is towards the second half of the year. So some of the people can apply for that also. People can apply for the first also. But this particular one is open to everyone. First year, second year, third year, and final year. All of you can apply. applications open twice a year but the thing is you need to apply as early as possible so if you're watching this video right now make sure you prepare your application well do your research on how to apply watch this video till the end so that you can understand on how to make your application better now how is the application procedure application opens up in december this time it has opened up in january recently it has been opened five to six questions you will be asked in this application so it's not uh, going to be a coding test it's not going to be an interview but five to six essay type questions in which you will be asked questions related to how you have faced discrimination in the past how would you like to contribute to open source how like why why you are more motivated towards open source so these kind of questions so this all requires your commitment your uh, like uh, presence of mind while writing those answers that will help you get selected for this opportunity only five to six questions that too you have to just write those questions and you will be shortlisted for the further rounds when i say further rounds there's no further round as such there are no interviews just after this shortlisting round you will be getting into a contribution phase in which you need to select some uh, organizations and contribute for their uh, uh, for some of their projects so once you start doing that you are finally selected for an intern before we move ahead to the studio let me tell you about next level it's a platform through which you can not only improve your coding skills but also you can compete with your friends and get a better rating so how it works is this is a platform through which you can give multiple coding competitions the more the number of coding competitions you give the better is your rating and you get a chance to unlock multiple job opportunities for you it's basically a professional career profile that can help you get those multiple different opportunities when i say companies which are hiring there are a lot of service based companies like tcs like hcl which are hiring through this particular platform based upon your rating right and there are multiple product based startups product based companies also which hire through this particular platform so many students have already joined i also joined and gave one of the tests in this particular uh, platform for front end engineering and i found it good many students have already participated and joined this league make sure you do check it out you apply for the same and you can refer more of your friends to get that at those advanced perks and benefits also check out the link in the description apply that coupon code that is given along with and make sure you register for it right now after your shortlisted a contribution period starts and you can start contributing matlab the contribution should start even before you are getting shortlisted because there's a lot of competition to beat that competition you should be prepared earlier as well so once you apply for this opportunity start uh, start with your research on which all organizations are available and how can you participate in those right next is how to write essay type questions ab essay type questions mein there are a lot of things right this is the procedure